development editor for him, the job hunt interviewing Tad Meyer. Mayor, sorry. Um, the question that I first want to ask you is why do you do this work? But before I ask you that question, uh, I'd like to know what this work is. So Tad, what do you do? It's a great question. Uh, <laughs> Lots of people ask me that question. Um, I'm a career coach, trainer, and speaker, as well as an executive coach. And so I help professionals advance in the career space. That means helping them figure out what they want to do and how to get there. And in the executive coaching space, I work with leaders to figure out what roadblocks they have and how to get over them. Uh, and I do this in a couple of different ways. I work with individuals, and then I also work with companies to help uh, train or coach their early professionals to understand how to move up or change divisions or departments within that company so that they don't have to move to another organization. And why did you get into this work in the first place? Really because of the coaching. I, uh, I used to be a mediator uh, and I really enjoy the one-on-one -on -one work with people. Uh, and the mediation, I did it for about 10 years and really enjoyed it and really felt that it brought a lot of value to people. And the conflict got hard after 10 years. Um, so two things happened simultaneously. I was starting to feel that. And at the same time, uh, Carly and Justin had come together and asked me to join this project to bring negotiation to career development. Uh, and that offered an opportunity to become a, co a, a negotiation coach in a new space. And that was really exciting to me to be, because there, there are a lot of negotiation coaches and trainers, um, especially here in Boston, but this was a way to do that in a niche area that would be very valid to people, valuable to people. And so I get to do the one-on-one, -on -one very intense work with people uh, all the time, and I love that. And um, was it ever your ambition to put this kind of work into writing, to make a book, so to speak. That was, it's interesting. When I did a mid-career shift a long time ago, on the list were four things. A mediator, an arbitrator, a trainer, and writing a book, so an author. I had no idea what to write about. Um, I didn't know what a mediator or arbitrator were, and I had nothing I could train people in. So through that search, I got to mediation eventually by getting trained and running into the right connectors and help finding out what it was. Uh, it was very exciting because we were bringing negotiation to a new niche. It was a natural transition to turn into a book. So it was very exciting to become part of that, part of that process. I hadn't thought of it initially, but when the opportunity came up, very exciting. And how did you meet uh, Justin Wright and Carly Wright? So I met Carly through Justin. And I used to work with Justin when I was a mediator. We worked at the same firm. Uh, and we actually worked together on projects and on trainings. And so we already had a working relationship for about six months or a year, uh, maybe, maybe 18 months at that point, uh, when, we started, cause when we started working together on this. And, and what do you like most about this? It's amazing how collaborative and respectful we are to one another. Uh, and obviously, I've, I more feel it as a recipient from Carly and Justin, but I'll include myself in it. Um, in that we've had some really long meetings. We've had some pretty serious disagreements. We've had a lot of different ideas. And we've been able to, because we're all from conflict resolution, We've all been able to invoke that model, so we're focused on each other and focused on the problem, not the person, and we focus on what's important to each other, and we really live that model. And so we've been able to keep away from the identity disputes and really focus on the content of the book and really have our discussions about that content. Because the dis discussion is about that, we don't take it home at night, you know? So we've been able to work through some pretty difficult uh, and disagreements and different points of view 
in really productive ways. So it's been incredibly rewarding to, to live what we've been teaching, training, and coaching for years. Right, and you started to answer this question a little bit, but uh, I, I'd like to hear a little bit more about what you've learned through your work on this project. What I first learned being a part of the, pro the project was as we were developing the model, is that I'd been using many parts of this model for years, I just hadn't crystallized it. And that was really eye-opening to me. Um, so, you know, Carly and Justin and I had all, all figured out that we'd been using parts of this in our own lives, and when we came together and all realized that each of us had been, that's when we really realized we had, we had something. Um, and so, I forgot the question. <laughs> um, it was really what you learned no. through your work on this project, and, and that could be either personally or, or professionally, like is there, is there some new insight into, uh, into, into this field that you've learned through this collaboration or something more personal? I think, I think there are a couple of top things I've learned in addition to the fact that you can take something you've done and turn it into a, an approach that other people can follow, is that specific to the model, one is that the a focus on people's interests, people's needs, motivations, and aspirations is really deep because that gets people, when you ask why do you want that, why is that important to you, they get, it, it fulfills many different parts of the job search simultaneously. It can be, I want to be in an office instead of a Cuban environment, or I want to be in a big company or small company, or it can be, I want to be recognized for who I am, and so it can get to that level. Uh, or it can be, I really like working with my hands, or I really like working with my mind. So what we learned from conflict resolution and negotiation about interests really is very valuable in, in um, career development because it applies to so many layers of it, and then the client gets to choose which of those are most important. I've had some clients who what's really important to them and their passion is about saving the world in some way, be it the environment or be it um, people in destitute times or situations. I've had others who have figured out that what's really important to them is to work in a team and by them leading the team, other, the, peop the team members' lives are better because they were part of that team and the leadership. And so it leaves so much room for people to figure out what's important to them. So I really love that how, how robust, I've learned how robust and rich interest can be. The other thing I've learned is the idea of working with connectors to, to really understand some place that you're going that they've been before and how valuable that can be and how it can make your process so much more effective and uh, has been, and, and being okay with asking for help has, and sharing that with others, has been really eye-opening for so many people. Uh, it's, been, it's been really exciting. And learning just how robust that is has been really cool. Um, working with your other two co-authors uh, who have been in the work world for less time than you, uh, have you, have you found that there's been certain, uh, uh, I don't want to say a generation gap, but generational ideas that you Interesting. Push against. I think more it's been eye-opening for me and they've been ideas to consider uh, because they, I am lucky enough to be a baby boomer working with millennials. And that is a, it's, stereotypically, it's rare that combination goes well. <laughs> and it's been, for the sake of the book and who we're writing for, which is people of all phases in, in, in their career, it's been really valuable to be able to combine those. So uh, I think I think it's been, I, I think I've more found value and surprise out of it than any sort of conflict or pushback, if that answers the question. Yeah, yeah. And uh, does Carly, do, do the different, per, have the different personalities, not just the different uh, ages, Wildly, it's really interesting how we've each got our 
various roles in this, in this team. And the perspectives, um, let's see, the perspectives are very different in that we're all, I think something that shows it is we're all doing different things now. Justin does a lot of stuff. One of the things he's, he's one of, my impression is one of the primary things he does is, is, negoti is as a negotiation trainer now. And Carly is doing, she got her MSW and she's now doing social work. And my primary focus is, a, is as a career um, is as a career coach. And so we're all part of this and we all bring our, our, and what brings us together is our background in negotiation and conflict resolution. And so I think those, those different perspectives now, I've been focused on how this will relate to someone at mid-career somewhat naturally. And Carly has been uh, very, uh, very focused on how this speaks to um, the motivations and interests of, of millennials and people who are frustrated with the current economy. And Justin has been very, very much of a visionary with how this, how this can be a model that people can get their hands around. And I think that combination of things has been very valuable. Great. And just finally, um, what fires you up most about in this book? Uh, it's a combination of some things I've said and some things I haven't. And I think part of what I've said is the one-on-one the -on -one work of the coaching or being in front of the room when I see someone have that aha moment, it, it makes everything worth, work, worth it. And also then to see people who originally thought, I'll never be able to move from this job, I'm stuck, to be a a able to actually go to a new career and actually have a new job and be fulfilled by it is incredibly rewarding. I think the other part of it is the is the collaboration that our that the the author, that we three authors Carl Justin and I have have uh, it, what has evolved into where we started as writers together with a common background and now we're actually uh, working with people and referring people to each other and figuring out who has the best personality to work on this project or that pro that project and and what we still bring to the writing and how we can evolve the model and we work on to get that together. That is really exciting because we still get to work together and we're finding ways to continue to work together. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Good to me. Sorry, I went, I went off script. That's, no, that's good. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if Carly's going to appreciate me calling her a social worker. I meant, I meant, I, I'm not sure what she, what, she, what title she goes by. She referred to herself as a social worker oh, in she our did. interview earlier, yes. so I think. Okay, cool, <laughs> great, awesome. Um, and I'm not sure if I describe. I was, I was trying to not say, not dive into the ninety, the one percent. Um, but well, you could have. I was on almost as social justice. Yeah, see that, justice. and I couldn't think of the term. Yeah. So, because that was. It's that's also fine. It's also okay. Because she's been very good about bringing social justice into the book. And that's yeah. been really valuable because it's, it, for me, it's given me a perspective I didn't have, I really wasn't in touch with. And as she spoke more about it, it really gave me a new perspective on the book and the content from a, from a social justice perspective, which has been, I think, really valuable, not only to me, but I think to the reader. And that's been, that's been and I brought that into the coaching and the training, too. Mm -hmm. so. Is that you as well? Yeah, because that was actually, that was I really lesson. like that. I think maybe if we can, um, Let's do that one more time just to have it like, just because yeah. I wasn't quite ready for it. Like, okay, so sorry. Can we, why don't, why don't I just ask the question yeah. about the team, or okay. the team members again? And let me just figure out what I just was looking at again. Uh, yeah. What did I say? It was really, it wasn't, so we moved from the, the whether or not there was a generation gap yeah. to the personality thing. Because yeah. your response is, is, is going is to come from that right because uh, it's not just her disposition like her personality as somebody who's a little bit more uh, understated you might want to bring that out too right I mean like Justin's overstated 
Yeah, Kali, that's, very that's a good point. Stage. Yeah. So there's those two things, but then there's also the, you know, she she has been a little bit more, she's a little bit more sensitive because of the nature of the work that she does um, to social justice issues, um, mm -hmm. social and economic justice issues. Yeah. So I yeah. Say that. Okay. Um, okay. So, Ted, take two. Yeah. Um, uh, so aside from any um, generation gap. Um, Things that you would like to note. Um, what? Um, what about the temperament? Uh, the, okay. Let me start over. Um, what is the question? What's the best way to phrase this question? God damn it! It was so easy the first time. The first time was fine. It was like. Uh, <laughs> how does how do the three personalities come yeah. together? Yeah, um, maybe that's like that. yeah, maybe that. Sure, sure. That's that's much simpler. to contribute to this project or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so so okay, so Ted, aside from um, any generation gap that might uh, exist, what about the three different personalities? What kind of um, effect has that diversity had on on this project? If any? Oh, it's fascinating. It's been you know when we were. Early on in the writing, it became, you know, really clear that, you know, Justin's this very uh, noticeable force in the room when you're working together, and Carly's a little, a little more understated. Yet their working relationship and and work together is incredible. Um, and so I, as I joined the team. Uh, had found my place in that. Um, and it's really become even more interesting as we've, as, as we've evolved and found our place in this project. Um, and, you know, I'm a career coach primarily. Uh, and Justin is, does a lot of stuff and is primarily a negotiation trainer, uh, among other things. Um, and Carly has gotten her MSW and is a social worker. And so, what that meant, what that means for the project is that Justin was, Justin in his just, his outward way was really good about evangelizing the model and helping crystallize it. And Carly's been really great about, uh, m about making sure we are sensitive to the reader from a social justice perspective. Um, to make sure that this speaks to everyone is not just this entitled, uh, entitled project that doesn't apply to most people, um, which has been really valuable for me. Um, and then me as a, as, a, as a career coach, I get to use every piece of this every day uh, in my work with clients. And, so, and we all career coach, so we're all using it every day. Uh, but we're all doing it to different degrees. Mm -hmm. And so you mentioned uh, Justin's uh, uh, you know, power of evangelizing the project and Carly bringing in social and economic justice. Um, what do you think you naturally brought in to the project? Which perspective did you bring? That's a good question. I think, let's see, uh, I brought in couple things. I brought in a, a, a contribution on the process of focusing on getting it done. And from the writing perspective, uh, I was very focused on what the reader or the client is struggling with coming in and things like not knowing, you know, not knowing what they don't know. So it's not just what they don't know, but it's what they don't know they don't know. And struggling with that, because how do you ask a question about what you, don't, you don't, what you don't know you don't know? And dealing with those kind of issues and what sort of uh, roadblocks they may be focusing on internally, uh, such as uh, clients feeling that they're introverted and therefore they don't like to network and bringing those sorts of perspectives into the writing so we could address them. Okay. Yeah. I have no idea what I contributed to this book. 
No, you, you had said it. You had said something before. The only reason that I brought that up is that you had, 